legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up for days when the skies of November turn gloomy. Of course, Michigan. Hall number 82 of from Great Lakes Engineering Works. 1911, the same time as the Titan. When she was launched, this was the largest bulk carrier in the world at that time. So she got the title of Queen of the Lakes. 1957, 58, they built the Edmund Fitzgerald at Great Lakes Engineering Works. Same place, it was hall number 301. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ships go It had the slanted sides in the cargo hold, those are ballast tanks And this would have been full of taconite pellets They look like little models The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And the wave broke over the railing And every man you as the captain be a lot of work to dog them all down <laughs> Poor deckhands <laughs> Now, it's the captain's decision as to whether you use the clamps or not These covers are six and a half tons So they're not going to blow away in the wind if it's nice weather, nice prediction, he's not expecting a storm, he might tell him to do the corner. That this first one is for the When supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya Turns and boats are totally different. This isn't the kitchen, this is the here to eat. The officers and the first mate, second mate, third mate, they all ate here. So a regular crewman was not allowed back here unless they were uh, invited. But all this woodwork is original. 1911, this was all done by the shipyard carpenters. The original table. And just look at these planks, how wide they are and how clear they are. You can't, this stuff doesn't exist anymore. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made whitefish babes They'd put 15 more miles behind her provides everything Everything that happens in the boat starts here Your propeller is turned with steam Your electricity is generated by steam All your winches on deck are steam operated Steering is steam powered What, what is this room? What, what, what do we call it? This is called the grill room The uh, tile is Kawabic tile. You guys uh, have never heard that from my I have not. This was 1911, and there's an electric fireplace here. That's original. That's All interesting. All this woodwork done by the shipyard carpenters. The furniture is stickly furniture. So there's the VIP cabin in that corner. So that's the owner's stateroom, or the ranking guest would stay there. Captain's office? Yep. And a that's his statement. And the chart on the wall here shows the Great Lakes. The captain's office. So you said this is this is where the captain slept. This was this, his room. This is his stateroom, right? Hmm. He had his own tub. Yeah, tubs and showers. Neighbor. 
two wheels. The Phipps would have only had one. This is one of only two boats that ever had two. In a musty old hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors' Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on the church You see the battle to the left by the man? What? Look yes. at the water coming out of the gun. I see it. Let's go. Let's go down the steps. All right. We'll have to go back to the car <laughs> and get clean car or dry clothes. Let's finish now. Let's finish now. Oh, I want to. I want to. All right. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't this fun? This is better than no rain. Well, right now, you know, I mean, you can actually see. Yeah, the wind is the worst. Yeah. Yeah, see, but that helps. See, the black gets worse. Yeah, yeah. So there, the shoes are soaked, you know. The head was okay because I had the umbrella on <laughs> and it wasn't blowing this hard when I it got it. It was going too slow. I said, I'm done. I'm out of here. It wasn't blowing this hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monsoon. Hey, I got the umbrella here. Which way are we supposed to go from here? There's Let's go there. around to the front. Well, it's on the other side. We're still the <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go back out? Yeah. Seems it, that. it may have calmed down a little bit. This was supposed to be coming until like an hour from yeah. now. Yeah. I'm going back through the other room and down the steps. You don't want to go upstairs? Right here. <laughs> now when the tide is coming down the rivers on the boats they've done this trip a thousand times, they know that when that church steeple gets in the third window you crank it two times to the left. And when the school bell over here is in the fourth window you crank it to the right. And the new boats radar was developed during World War II was installed on these boats in the mid-1970s. This is a 30-mile radius radar. So with this, they could see the islands, they could see the shore, they could see other ships as long as they weren't wood ships. This one here, you unscrew these thumb screws, you hinge this up, and you put a mylar chart in here. And then you look through here, and this would be the navigator. You'd look through here, and you could see where the boat was on the chart. This was radio directional finder. So if you're out there on a storm, you turn this, you wear headsets, and you turn this until you hear a ping somewhere over there. You know it's down. Yeah. Okay. Let's go through here and back down the steps. 
Can't. Okay. Come on, you're not walking under the umbrella. I know. I think we can go now. They're over halfway down. What? Hope this doesn't ruin my phone because I had to change the screen uh -huh. and it's no longer waterproof. Oh. So look at the lights. You can't even see the bridge. Right, this phone can pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Once you get under that drain right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a guy coming up. Yeah. What? Yeah. Is that oh no, there's people about up the field area. Uh, okay. There, I didn't see anybody. Yeah, they're up, they're up above. They're on the top level. There they come about. Be careful. You want to skip the tug? Yeah. We're gonna, if they're going to close this down, they're going to close that down. I heard the thunder and lightning and I knew our time was limited. Do you want to go inside now then? Where this far to the car, I'm going to the car. The artifacts and treasures inside are, are just amazing. You know, original life rings and life boats, life rafts from the Edmund Fitzgerald. But that's just a piece of it. There's a lot in that. Tucked away in that little museum it is really, really awesome. And the new development down here on the east side of the Maumee River in Toledo, Ohio.